What is most important is that you're putting the effort in and making sure you're focusing on doing good reps and utilizing proper form. That is the most important thing that you could do. What is going on guys, Fraser Wilson here from EHP Labs and I wanna welcome you to a three part series of how to do a perfect hanging leg raise. So the hanging leg raise is one of my all time favorites for developing an impressive six pack. When done correctly, it can be the perfect exercise to build up that midsection that you desire. There is only one issue with this and that is that it is not all that easy to perform. The biggest reason to why you cannot perform a good hanging leg raise comes down to just a lack of abdominal strength. So in the first step for this, we're gonna be focusing on an exercise that you can do to master and build up that strength initially so you can perform a perfect hanging leg raise. So the first exercise that we are going to want to master before we do a hanging leg raise is gonna be the lying leg raise. So perfecting the lying leg raise is gonna have way more benefit than it is to just do a bunch of sloppy reps with a hanging leg raise. So to do this correctly, guys, you're gonna to wanna to lay 100% flat on the ground on your back. While keeping your legs straight, you're gonna to wanna to hinge at the hip and lift your legs towards your head. Now, once you get to a 90 degree angle, what you're gonna to want to think about is lifting up your hips. That is gonna give your abs a complete and full engagement and a really, really good contraction. So that is step number one, guys. And before you think about moving to step number two, what you're gonna to want to make sure that you can do is 20 perfect lying leg raises. I guarantee you it's gonna have way more bang for your buck if you just do that, as opposed to kind of jumping ahead and trying to do the harder exercise, but doing it worse off. We are heading into step number two of how to do a perfect hanging leg raise. Once you've perfected step number one, what we're gonna do, guys, is move up onto the bar. Now from here, all we're gonna think about is doing a nice, easy hanging knee raise. The most important thing to think about when trying to do any form of hanging leg raise is to minimize momentum as much as humanly possible. Possible. This is about quality over quantity. We're not trying to get 100 reps here. We're trying to get a few really, really good reps. So while holding the bar, we're gonna bring our body to a complete dead stop. And from here, we're gonna think about actively contracting our abs and lifting our knees up as high as we possibly can. Now, if you can get them all the way to the chest and even curl your butt underneath, that is perfect. But if you can't, do not worry. Just lift your knees as high as you possibly can in a comfortable way that actually engages your abs. So step three is gonna be the hanging leg raise itself. So it is very important to make sure your form is very, very good on this one. Similar note to step number two, quality is more important than quality. You'll get more bang from your buck from doing a few quality reps as opposed to a hundred or a thousand sloppy ones. So the ultimate goal of step number three is to get to a point where you can lift your legs all the way up to the bar. But until you can get to that point, what is most important is that you keep your form very, very good. So what you wanna do when hanging from a bar is bring your body to a a complete dead stop. We wanna limit momentum as much as possible to put the most tension on the abs, which is what we're trying to grow here. From there, you're gonna think about keeping your legs straight and lifting your feet directly forward and up. Now, if you can only bring your legs to a 90 degree angle or even less than that, that is all good and everyone starts somewhere. What is most important is that you're putting the effort in and making sure you're focusing on doing good reps and utilizing proper form. That is the most important thing that you could do. One final note, guys, it's very important to keep in mind that training is only half the battle. The other half is gonna be your nutrition. So after my ab workouts or any other workouts that I'll do, I'll have one scoop of Isopep Zero by EHP Labs. This is the best protein on the market. It's gonna help you speed track your recovery and get you ready for your next workout. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this three steps to a perfect hanging leg raise. If you did, drop a like, comment down below, and we'll catch you in the next video.